Hi, I'm Kent Mayor Dana Ralph, and I am here with your weekly update. All kinds of things going on around the city as we wind down August. Hard to believe that we're halfway through the month already, which also means that we're coming up on the tail end of summer. So our first update today is around COVID-19. Governor's statewide mask order is in effect. Want to let you know that through grant funding, the city of Kent was able to purchase 20,000 masks along with 10,000 hand sanitizers that we're going to be distributing. Our first event will be at Showware Center. It will be a drive through event and there will also be food boxes available. We're finalizing the details so I want to encourage everyone to check back on our website and social media in the coming week to get dates and times for that distribution. Next thing I want to talk about is our Community Development Block Grants. Boy, that's a mouthful. Um, that is federal funding that we received and we're able to award 19 local nonprofits and other organizations $721,000 in grant money so that they can help our community. They um, are going to be providing everything from rental assistance to personal protective equipment. So really proud of the work that our human services department and commission did on that. Even more so proud of our community groups and nonprofits for stepping up to make sure that um, they're filling those needs. Couple of fun events for the weekend. First Avenue Inside Out Open Air Dining. So if you have not been down to First Avenue to check this out, so much fun. It's each Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and our restaurants down there on First Avenue set out tables and chairs so you can dine outside in the sun. The merchants along First Avenue have also got booths set up um, so you can check out all the great things that they have for sale. Strongly encourage it. It's a lot of fun and a great way to spend a Saturday. Shower Center Drive-In Movies. This this has been so popular in our community. I'm really excited about the number of people that have come down and gone to a, just a good old fashioned drive-in movie. This weekend, we've got The Lion King, Ghostbusters and Gremlins. And then next week, it's Coco, Field of Dreams, Nightmare on Elm Street, sounds scary to me, and Spaceballs. You can get tickets on the Showware Center website as well as the schedule. So times for each movie, we've got 6.30 showings, 9.30 showings, and um, some earlier showings on Sunday. So definitely check check it out. 2020 census. So you've heard me talk about this a lot. Um, it's really important to our community. Very proud of our residents because our response rate at this point is higher than the state average. So we're excited about that. The bad news is that our neighbors, Renton and Auburn, are beating us by just a little bit. I know that we, um, it, we've we got it in us to do better and to show our neighbors um, how amazing we are. This 2020 census tracks the number of people that are in our city, and we know that every single one of our residents counts, and that's how we get funding for the next 10 years. So go to the website, which is 2020census.gov, and respond. Remember, each person here in Kent counts, and we need to make sure that we're showing everybody that that's the case. Want to highlight the work of our amazing volunteers in the city of Kent. So the Kent Community Partners has come together. It's a group of all kinds of organizations, service groups in our city, and they're doing food, food distribution every single week, making sure that our neighbors are being taken care of. So again, here's a shout out to all of the fabulous volunteers and the work that they're doing. I want to thank all of the residents that signed in for our equity and inclusion speaker series that occurred this week. We had over 200 people register for that event. Erin Jones is a nationally recognized educator and speaker on the topic of equity and inclusion. She presented to our community on the important topic of critical terminology. So if you think about the differences in definitions for things like equality and equity, what is the difference between race and ethnicity? As we're having these conversations around race, equity, and inclusion, it's really important that we all have an understanding of those basic terms. I want to say thank you to Erin for providing this fabulous presentation to our community and to all of our residents who took the time out of their evening to log into that presentation. It's important work that the City of Kent um, takes very seriously and want to make sure that we're helping our community through these conversations. Finally, I absolutely love it when Kent is featured in the news for a positive story. Q13 reached out earlier in the week because they had seen our social media coverage of Black Owned Business Month. August is Black Owned Business Month and we have decided it's extremely important for us to show support for those businesses here in our community. I want you to take a minute to go check out our social media and find a business in the city of Kent that either you have already been supporting, tell your friends why you love it so much, or maybe find 
find a new business that you didn't know was here in Kent and show your support. Thank you everybody for tuning in to our update. It's going to be almost 90 degrees this weekend. So make sure you put your sunscreen on, make sure you put your mask on and enjoy the last few weeks of summer before we head into fall. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.